Hey, everybody, welcome back to another film review here on the RGR Football Channel. My name is Daniel Harms. For those of you that are new, make sure we're hitting that like, the sub, uh, uh, bell notification app for you guys. Helps us, helps you. That's just what we do. We appreciate all the support. Uh, again, thank you to all the new members. That's It's been an incredible, humbling experience to see that you guys subscribe to the channel. So, again, thank you all so much. And, again, Thank you to all the new new subscribers, new listeners, members, all of it. It's really, really, it's really awesome. Ryan and I appreciate it so much. Um, we've just got through with the bye here. The Raiders week is coming up. But I think I wanted to get you guys a little bit more of what you wanted to see. And this year we've seen the most surprising thing that I've witnessed from, you know, a Chiefs draft to this point. And it wasn't even a draft. It was an undrafted free agent in Tershawn Wharton. He's kind of like that money that you find in your pocket for – like maybe a $20 bill that you find in your pocket one of these days. You just wake up, you roll out of bed, you put on your pants, and you're just like, I got money in my pocket. Like that's what he's been. He's been money. And let's go ahead and roll into the tape because he's just been so much fun to watch. And, and I think that just getting to see some of his growth to this point in the season is – it's so impressive for the coaching staff to get this much out of guy that not many people know about. It's just that shows you how well – they scout. So you've got Wharton right here, right here, just so you know exactly where he is before I roll the tape here. Uh, he is, uh, let's just say he's, he's fast. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I look at this acceleration. My gosh, this is something that I don't see very much from a big man like that. Um, recognizing Teddy Bridgewater's getting out of the pocket and then just turns on the Jets. That would be so much fun to watch him in a race with some of these people. Uh, again, here, he's just uh, an extremely fast guy. He's in a, again, the, we've talked about this, this fumble play before, the effort to get back. My apologies for pausing that. I didn't uh, mean to do that. So, yeah, this the effort play to get back to Melvin Gordon, to then just knock the ball out right there, just knowing what he's got to do. He's got guys around to help him out, like, this is the kind of thing that you don't really see from UDFAs all the time, especially when they're forced into situations like this. Uh, this is an exceptionally impressive one-two punch that he's got here. We're going to actually roll through this and come back to it for a second here. He is quick and he's fast, and he's got this agility that you don't see a lot of 255-pounders have. So we're going to come back here just so you can actually focus where he's at. So you've got Wharton right here right here in this almost a you know in between the guard and the tackle and this is why the next clip is just as important because he has the lateral agility and quickness to go from right here into this a gap and get up field and you have to be able to defend against that so he's he's able to put together some impressive pass rush snaps just based off of his quickness and speed alone he pairs that with a nice little uh slap and rip up through the through the uh, a gap and he's just right into the tack right into the uh the face of teddy bridgewater um here he is again and now this is why that last clip also is is kind of fun to watch because you got him right here again in between shaded more to the tackle but again in between the tackle and the guard and this is where it gets a lot of fun because you have to now respect his straight line speed and quickness and he's going to do a little up and out and come right under this tackle uh, excuse me the uh, guard and get him falling all over himself trying to get back to him like he's he's got some impressive some impressive physical traits uh forces that ball out there really quickly so that's just a lot of fun to watch and i think that getting to witness an undrafted free agent forced into a role mind you that you know, he may not have been expecting because of the Colin Saunders injury. And he's been able to show just how, one, physically imposing he is, how fast he is, the, the different types of quickness, the agility, all of these things from UDFA is, UDFA is so, is so much fun. And so we're going to run through this sack against the, uh, the Jets. He's right here in between the center and the guard. And I'm going to run through it after to just kind of break it down a little bit. But this is... One of the the fun things about Tershawn Wharton is his football in, intelligence, and I think that this is goes to show you kind of what he's all about. He has all the physical abilities, but his recognition in the run game and in the pass and the pass game, pass rush game, is what is just about as impressive as his physical traits. So, firstly, we want to talk about Ben Neiman 
which is impressive. We don't talk about Ben Neiman that much. Here he is. He's going to blitz. And he's actually going to do an exceptional job of getting underneath some of these blocks and forcing this, this guard in the center a little bit to really kind of pay attention to him. You're going to have Wharton come across here into this A-gap, stunting with, with Chris Jones. He's coming around. And this is what makes you know the intellect part of uh, Tershawn Wharton's game all that much more impressive. He doesn't, he doesn't know that Taco Tarleton is going to be able to get upfield and around and put pressure on Sam Darnold. So let's slow this down a little bit here. Oh, I should probably unclick this so I can do that. There we go. Um, so right, like I said, he's going to see uh, Chris Jones is going to have his stunt come around. And right here, so he's taking on that double team a little bit. And then that's where Ben Neiman comes in. You can see him getting underneath the guard and kind of pushing him backfield. The center now has to respect that bull rush from Ben Neiman and start to attribute more attention to him. And now we get to see the mental process a little bit. You've got Taco Charlton coming off the end. Uh, he, you know, right here is still Wharton. He doesn't see taco coming but what he does know is that on his stunt because of ben neiman's bull rush upfield chris jones has a wide a wide open b gap to run through and put pressure on sam darnold now chris jones isn't going to actually put pressure because sam's looking to throw the football so what he does instead is jump up right here and that's where we see tershawn just throw that guard to the side completely recognizing that Sam Donald now is getting out of the pocket and he has the lateral agility, the quickness to keep with him. Cause we know that Sam Donald's pretty fast. He's shown off some, some speed and wheels in some of these games. He had that touchdown run. I forget who it was against, but it was pretty impressive. I think it was the Broncos actually. Yeah. That comes to mind. Uh, so yeah, he just throws this guy off and then gets the sack on Sam Donald processing where he's going at the time that it's happening. So, I geez, some of the things that these guys can can do are impressive. And obviously getting into the NFL at any point is impressive. But again, he's so much fun to watch. And having this men level of mental processing helps him in both facets of the game. Like I mentioned, it's multifaceted. And we're gonna see it here in the run game. Ooh, that got going really fast. He Tershawn is right here just so you guys don't miss the play. <laughs> I'm trying to be better about highlighting everybody. But again, we're seeing that come into play immediately. He's advanced in his, his ability to see things unfold for a guy who didn't have a preseason. He didn't have a camp very much. So the game has slowed down a little bit for him now that he's had all these reps. And the Broncos here are running this zone. Uh, I think, I believe it's an inside zone based on where the running back is aiming. It looks like more of an inside zone. So that means everyone, everyone is stepping to their left. Everybody, it's all going to the left. Now what this does is it creates cutback lanes when you get the defense moving from one side to the other. That is the idea of all inside or zone plays is to, to move everyone in the same direction and create some cutback lanes. And off the, the very start, Melvin Gordon is going to try to take this and go the opposite way. So let's slow it down a little bit here to try to capture. There we go. So this is what I'm talking about, the recognition. You can see, because of the push-up field, Melvin Gordon's trying to get backfield. And now he thinks he's got a really nice running lane right here. Because if you look, it looks like you're going to be able to get a hat on a hat on a hat here. And he's going to be able to come right through here and just go upfield. And that's where, the, the, again, the processing from him comes in and, and blows this entire play up because you have a, a defensive tackle with this amount of physical ability to an understanding of what is going on. He's able to then throw off, throw off that blocker and just abuse Melvin Gordon. He just throws him at the end of the play here. Like, this is the kind of stuff that gets you recognized. And the reason that he's continuing to play over Colin Saunders, who I believe is now healthy, is because he's showed out as a, a, a run stopper and a pass rusher. And that's the, how you 
develop in this league. You can, you can, as a defensive tackle, being able to do both. You know, he was a uh, a, a defensive end, so this makes sense. He's got some of those tools. Um, But now we're going to see the more refined aspect of pass rushing and not just built off of his, his speed, his agility, but now we're going to see some handwork from him. And so oops, I almost went through that without showing you guys where he is. Again, this is Tershawn Wharton lined up directly over this, this uh, right guard here. So Tershawn is a really an exceptional tactician. We're going to see, even though that, you know, the uh, Panthers do get the ball away here. Uh, it's important to, to kind of slow this down to get to see exactly the kind of tactician tacticianing I'm talking about. Because even though this ball comes out quickly, you imagine in most games that you're not going to be able to get the ball out that quickly, assuming most plays you don't go right underneath to the to the running back. But you got McCaffrey just running this, I believe it's an angle route. I didn't exactly see it on this playthrough, but he's coming across open over the middle. So the ball is coming out fast. But if you watch Wharton, he combines the aspect that we saw earlier in this clip that he's going to come around and then take a jab step, bounce back to the outside. But instead of just beating him with straight speed and athleticism, he's going to take really kind of a rip and a slap and get upfield right after uh, Teddy Bridgewater. And had you know the running back not been wide open because that happens quite a bit with this linebacking core when Willie Gay's not on the field. <clears throat> cough, cough. Willie Gay should be playing more. But again, here's that slap and the rip underneath. And he is free. Like this is 100% a win from Tershawn Wharton getting to the to the passer. And again, if that running back's not open, that's either going to be a sack or he's going to throw it away somewhere else. Like that's, it impacts the game. He's able to do this at more levels than just what we're seeing, you know, splash plays, even though this doesn't, you know, impact the actual game itself. It's a win in that you can project that over the rest of the time that he's going to be playing. And we're seeing, you know, why he's playing. So watching him develop as a pass rusher and seeing all of the mental part as well as the physical tools attributing to this game is really why, you know, he's been so, so stellar in getting those 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 reps going forward so again guys this is it's an awesome job of not only Tershawn Wharton but the coaching staff doing what they continue to do with guys taking the attributes that they know that they've seen that they want and honing them bringing them to this team and getting the most out of them they're doing it with everybody and I mean, they're not getting a huge amount of pass rush to this point, but I expect that to change over the next, you know, half-ish of the season. I expect them to start getting more pressure with four. And uh, Tershawn Wharton to continue to be what he's been. He's been among the best rookies in terms of producing pressures, which is really another way of impacting the game. So he's he's done a phenomenal job. Um, I know we all love talking about Tershawn Wharton. I love talking about Tershawn Wharton. So I hope you guys enjoy this. It's really a privilege to talk about undrafted free agents coming into the league and succeeding and having way above expectations. So I, I just, I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you have a great day. I mean, it's almost Chiefs football. So let's go. Thanks for watching this video from the team at RGR Football. Click these videos to see more and subscribe to RGR Football.